children from different parts of the country are different and while the right to access to education is what we are talking about right to education is always there so the right to access and in what way can we make that access easier and once somebody accesses the system how they, can they continue to be in it because currently the act only talks about 8 to 14 years right and nobody says anything about what's going to happen after he reaches or she reaches the age of 14 so access to education should also come coupled with continuing that thing so that you not only access the system you also stay on to the system and then you become a part of the system so the right to access to education is something that we can all work towards and we can try and see how we can convert the access into sustainable continuation that's probably where it comes from. coming to your uh, your company and okay. you need to tell us something about uh, CB furniture and what is the USP of the no, USP is basically furniture which enables the delivery of education the way it was meant to be so rather than furniture coming in the way furniture should see as another tool that will help the delivery of education in ways that it's not possible currently a it can do it by making things possible which didn't happen before or b by making it happen in a better way so when you talk about flexibility multi-use the idea is that children in the school should get maximum space to do whatever they want and furniture should only be there to help that become better rather than furniture occupying so much of space physically and metaphorically that the students don't get to express themselves so to the extent that furniture helps the system of education or helps the delivery of education it makes a lot of sense so what we're trying to do is to see two one is what is the minimal furniture that's needed to be able to teach in the way you meant to do and b can furniture itself be a teaching aid can we teach through the use of furniture can we talk about sustainability can we talk about environmental issues through the use of furniture while the material it's used the way it's processed what happens to it afterwards so that you become more aware of things around you through the use of furniture that's the principal aim of what we're trying to do I personally have been working with schools and furniture for about 18 years. Yeah, and for the for the last three years, there's been a huge change uh, because people are coming forward and asking for things. They're asking for changes. Also, the NCF plays a big role, the National Curriculum Framework, where the curriculum says, you know, say a simple thing like peer review. Peer review means your classmates will review you. So, which means the furniture should lend itself to be used as group for group discussions for people getting together so that review can happen now uh, uh, there'd be a large impact on the design of furniture design of classroom design of other learning spaces based entirely uh, on the national curriculum framework so that's the next big move uh, in your view how does this uh, school furniture market in, uh, it it's it's beyond the number of zeros anyone can add because it's, it's, it's absolutely huge. The number of new students who will enter a school at various parts of the country is stupendous. I mean, it's, it's a huge, huge industry, and currently, there's just small players in it. So this industry itself will have a big journey. You'll have to have much bigger players coming in. So uh, do you think India is yet to optimize? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We are nowhere close to doing it, because any of this takes some time, and while there's a churning happening in the school, thing, there's a churning happening in, in things around it. So I guess it'll take another five years for th things to come up to speed where you can have just the right sort of things that you need. Could you tell what, the, what is the current frame? What is the market frame in furniture? There's nothing. There's, it's, it's just moved from carpenters putting together something. See, essentially, it's got to do with the nature of the way schools were set up. Initially, schools were set up one class at a time. So a bunch of carpenters could make furniture, could make furniture, and that would be enough for the school. But today with project funding, and you set up a school in two years' time, and therefore there's a huge pressure on getting lots of students. So you have a very short time in which lots of students have to be taken to school. A lot of furniture is needed at one point. And this is a very, very small window to do it. So therefore, a mechanized solution will have to come in. Pre-made solutions will have to come in. You need lots of furniture 
at a very short notice and you need it in such a way that every year you can add to it without having to make major changes. So this calls for a completely different method of manufacturing and delivery. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay.